Welcome back, to the School of Design Onulysis and Algorithm. Created by Tan A. G. and Pooja under the guidance of Professor Mrs. G. G. Shingon. Let's start the today's class. Today, we are going to learn about graph coloring problem with backtracking approach. Let's start with introduction. Given a graph of vertices and edges, you want to color the nodes in such a way that no two adjacent vertices share a same color using the fewest number of colors. By using backtracking method like following graph. In following graph we can see there are three coloras used to find optimal solution. Let's start with example, in this example there are four vertices and we have to use three colors to solve this problem that is, red, green and blue. For solving this example we have to prepare adjutancy metrics G. Let's check the algorithm and start solving the problem with backtracking algorithm. In this algorithm K is the node that we re going to color in this level of recursion and X of K, is an array that holds the current color at each node. In above algorithm there is one condition in which one function is used known as is safe, let's learn about it. Is safe is one of the method used in this algorithm to checks to see if current color C is safe to place or not. And in this method we checks the C is containing the given color or not, if it satisfy the condition then it will return false, it means we cannot put the color to given node because other adjacent node having same color, if the condition is not satisfy it return true, it means the color is safe for this node, let's solve the example by using this algorithm. Let's start with graph color 0 that is node 0, here k is equal to 0 and let's take c is equal to 1 that is red color. Then pass k equals 0 and c equals 1 to is safe method, to check condition whether c equals 1 is safe for node 0 or not, in is safe method set i is equal to 0, then check g of 0, 0 is equal to 1 or not and also check given color is present in the given's nodes, adjacency matrix, or not. In this problem this condition is not satisfy. Loops continues to all n and at the end of loop it returns true which means this color is safe for node 0, then give this color to the node 0, that is we gives red color. To node 0. Then check for graph color 1 that is node 1, here k is equal to 1 and let's take c is equal to 1 that is red color. Then pass k equals 1 and c equals 1 to is safe method, to check condition whether c equals 1 is safe for node 1 or not, in is safe method set i is equal to 0, then check g of 1, 0 is equal to 1 or not and also check given color is present in the given's nodes, adjacency matrix, or not, in this time this condition is satisfied, then C is increment by 1 that is green color, then again check again this time condition is not satisfied, it returns true which means this given color is safe for node 1, then give this color to the node 1, that is we gives green color to node 1. Then, the recursion continues for all the nodes in the graph, trying the different colors. If no color is safe, and not all nodes are filled, it will backtrack and try a different color on the last node set or at the end of node. Let's solve this example in the form of tree, we have three colors that is red, green, and blue, then to the node 0, we have given red color, then to the node 1, we give green color which is second in color array, and to the node 2 as a sequence of colors we have given blue color, but the blue color is not safe for this node because, we cannot give red color to the node 3 that's why we have to perform backtracking, and give red color to the node 2 and then give blue color to the node 3. 
After completing all nodes we have got the optimal color solution with 3 color and color sequence is red green red blue. In small problems like this we can use backtracking method. But for big problem we have to use NP hard to solve graph coloring problems. Thank you for listening this lecture, thank you from Tanaji and Pooja.